Welcome back. Um, today we will talk about the consistency and how to handle consistency in distributed systems in, um, in database specifically. Uh, we will talk about the Quorum consensus. consensus. So um, basically, let's talk about what is the problem that we might have. So if we have like, let's say that we have um, a, a big database and we store, we store data in this database and currently the data that we have, it's too big for this database. So what we do, we try to um, make like sharding and put this data um, into more manageable uh, uh, data set and we save them and everything looks fine, everything looks good and it's great. However, I wanna make I wanna make sure that I have maximum availability for each one of them. So I will make like a master slave relationship. So I have here like this master and I have two slaves and this master will serve write operations and the master will and the slaves will serve the uh, uh, read operations. And let's say that maybe we have master master, it, it, it doesn't matter. So um, um, we might face some inconsistency problems because if we add up uh, uh, data here and we try to replicate the data to the slaves, maybe one of the slaves will not uh, replicate the data. Maybe the master is off and, the and, and, and we have a new slave that being uh, elected to be a new master and um, the new slave maybe have data loss. So when we try to uh, edit the data, we, 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 we save it to the other slave, the master come back and we see the master, we have data difference. We have, we can find that we have uh, tons of, what is this? We can see that we have tons of inconsistency. It's easy to have inconsistency, specifically if we have a master master uh, database. So basically if we have a shorting and we have maybe uh, two, uh, uh, two more replicas of this database and all of them accept uh, read and write requests. So if all of them accepts uh, uh, write requests, uh, maybe um, I'm editing data here and maybe we have another uh, um, another another service is, is, is connected with this data and another service connected with this data. Maybe we save the same data in the same time put the same data at the same time, and this could lead to some incon inconsistency problems. So how to handle inconsistency problems? And um, maybe we can have like network failures. So when we try to replicate data, it's not replicated here, but it's replicated there. And also that means when this data come back um, to, 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 to the internet, uh, or maybe this data is connected with other services, this database will not uh, have the same data as in this two database. That, that means that we have maybe some, uh, we have inconsistency in our system. How to handle this inconsistency? We use the Quorum consensus to ha handle this one. So the Quorum consistency is a concept used in distributed systems, including distributed databases, to ensure data consistency and availability in, 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 in the presence of network partitions or, net or node failures. It's, um, it's a voting mechanism that uh, um, help determine 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 whether a distributed operation which is read and write can produce based on the agreement of majority of nodes or replicas uh, the use of quorum consensus is especially important for maintaining consistency in distributed databases so let's just talk about how, how, how it works so it's just a voting mechanism so before we have to um, clarify three important variables so um Let's make. Uh, so we have uh, we have n, which the n will be equals the number the number of um, of replicas. We have um, uh, w, which is b, which will be um, the uh, the right. the right quorum uh, so um, the right quorum it's um, a right quorum of size w like for right operations to be considered as successful right operations must acknowledge from uh, uh, w so basically if w equals 3 so in order to make the right operations uh, 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 right or, ex uh, or 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 passed. That means we the uh, uh, the W should equals to three. 
and we have R and R basically it's the read current and it's the same as the write so let's assume that uh, as you can see here let's say that we have um, three replicas so let's go with W equals to one so let's say that W equals to one. So um, uh, uh, W equals to one. This doesn't mean data is written on on one server. Um, for instance, with the configuration, as you can see here, um, um, data is uh, is replicated to S zero, S one, S two, and um, yeah, W equals to one means that the coordinator must receive at least one acknowledgement before the write operations is considered as successful for instance if we get acknowledgement from s1 s1 we no longer need to wait for acknowledgement from s0 and s2 a coordinator x as a proxy between client and node so this is the the the, the job for coordinator it's just a proxy between nodes and the uh, um, and the the client or the actual server so um, the configuration of w and r and n is typically trade off between latency and consistency so if w equals one on r equals one an operation is returned quickly because a coordinator only needs to wait for one response from any of the replicas if if w let's see if uh, if w or r bigger than one the system offers better consistency however the query will be slower because the coordinator must wait for the response from the slower replica so let's say that with if if if, um, if w equal three so the coordinator will have to get acknowledgement from s1 and s2 and s and, and, and s0 to 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 consider any read operation uh, any write operation is right so let's say that if if um, um, w plus n bigger than bigger than uh, w plus r bigger than n uh, this system has a strong consistency the strongest consistency is guaranteed in this system because there are must be a, at least uh, one overlapping node that has at least data to ensure consistency um if um and so okay if if r equals no 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 if r equals one and and n equals w in this system we will see that uh, the system is optimized for fast read if um if um, if w equals one and uh, r equals n the system is optimized for fast write if uh, uh, if uh, w plus r bigger than n um, the uh, it's strong consistency is guaranteed because usually uh, in equals three so uh, r and w will equals two if w plus or less than or equals n um, strong consistency is not guaranteed but we have um, super low latency so depending on the requirement we can tune the values of w and r and n to achieve the desired level of consistency that we need so um, in conclusion um, uh, current consistency is a crucial concept for maintaining data consistency and availability in distributed databases. It helps strike a balance between strong consistency and system availability, making it a fundamental concept of many distributed systems, including those uh, used in uh, scenarios where data integrity and reliability are crucial. So, as you can see, it's guaranteed data consistency because the Chrome consensus ensure that majority of replicas agree on state of um, state of data before allowing read or write operations to produce. This helps maintain data consistency. We talk about also its great availability because while ensuring consistency, Chrome consensus. Uh, 
also maintain system availability if a minority of nodes become unavailable due to network issues or failure the database can still function as long as a major of nodes uh, are uh, operational and it's a great also in fault tolerance because quorum consensus provide fault tolerance even if a subset of replicas becomes temporary and available or out of the sync the database can continue to operate as long as a majority of nodes are functioning properly um, let's talk about the trade-offs the choice of the quorum size and the configurations involves trade-offs between consistency availability and fault tolerance a large a quorum size ensures strong consistency but may this uh, decrease availability while um, a smaller uh, uh, quorum size improves availability but may weaken consistency um, it's a great in conflict resolution so in in case where different nodes have conflict uh, data due to network partitions the quorum consistency mechanism can also be used to resolve conflicts and determine the made up uh, to date data so yeah, uh, that's it for this video. I hope you like my content. If you like my content, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video and see you in future problem.